Hello there, I'm Steph. Now, what you need in order to make dry ice is, first of all, an assistant. Assistant, up. What's your name? Poppy. Poppy, this is Poppy. She, how, much, how much lipstick have you got on? Mm -hmm. A lot! This is Poppy with a lot of lipstick on. Okay, Poppy, how do we, how do we make dry ice? What do we need? Uh, no, no. We need a fire extinguisher. We have one here. Now, what's the rule about a fire extinguisher? Don't put your hand there. Don't ever set off somebody else's fire extinguisher is all I'm saying because next time somebody comes along needing to set off, a, uh, put, to put out a fire, uh, there will be no fire extinguisher there. So, okay, what do we do? <laughs> so, now, why do we put these on? Um, to protect our lovely eyes. To protect our lovely eyes. Okay, so, it has to be a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher, Poppy, because that's what dry ice is. Dry ice is carbon dioxide in its solid form. So, to collect the dry ice, we need one of these. What's this? Yes, yeah, a cushion cover or a pillow yeah. cover. So we are going to fire the carbon dioxide fire extinguisher into a pillow. When you do this, you have to open the door. See that over there? Doors open. Because this expands enormously into a gas and it takes up all of the other gas in the room. It can end up forcing all the oxygen out, okay? Got to be careful with this, okay? Don't set off fire extinguishers and don't do any. If you do, make sure you open the door. Okay, are you going to okay. set this off? Yeah. Okay, so give that a squeeze. Careful, careful, careful. <laughs> and go on, be gone. Oh, baby, that's good. Okay, and one more. Go on. Woo! Yeah, another one just like that. Another one just like that. Another one just like that. Okay. I'd just like you to step back for a bit, Pops. You've got to watch out because the, 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 the uh, CO2 will come back out this way as well because you're confining it in a small space. You ready? Okay, now let's have a look at what we've got here. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing! Look at that! There is our very own ice dry carton. ice. Okay, so now, this is very, very cold, but what we need to do is we need to do something with it, really. Now, you can squish it up, because it's all quite sort of fluffy at the moment, so you can squish it together. Oh, it's like snow. Yeah, that's right. You can, so that we're going to make our own snowball. Snowy. Snowball. Okay, stop there. So, we've got our snowball of dry ice. That's pretty cool, but what we need is another assistant. Come on, other assistant! What's your name? Daisy. Daisy. Okay, what we need is to have fun with our dry ice. So, what we're going to do is pop this bowl here. First of all, we want a couple of squirts of washing up liquid in there. Squirt, One. squirt, squirt. Give it a little bit of a stir around. Big slurp of blue food diet. Okay, and now, snowball in snowball. hot water. So, this is our dry ice. And what's happening is it's sublimating. So, it's changing from a solid to a gas straight away. There's no liquid phase in the middle. It's all going straight into being a gas. And you can see this. This isn't, you know, all this stuff over here is actually where you get a little cloud, where little water droplets are forming around the cold air of that. And that's pretty cool, isn't it? Three, two, one. <gasps> <laughs> No, I guess you can with the gloves on. Normally, it turns into a gas underwater and forms a bubble. Oh, that was a brilliant bubble! Oh, that bubble. Case. oh no, bubble! There's the bubble! So, we have managed to get a bubble started by pushing. Daisy pushed the uh, lump of dry ice underwater, so it started a bubble. So, from that tiny little bubble, it's still going. Look at that. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> Thank you very much. Come back and see some more of our videos soon. Take oh, care. I'm in love with Hey! Goodbye! Bye! <laughs>